Ah, good morning. Right, so yesterday we were... What did we end up with? So we ended up with a broken edit screen. <clears throat> if you look at the console, um, type it in. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I think I know what that is. Um, that. Yeah, okay. So uh, I don't know what that will be. Oh, if we get into the. Uh, into the IDE, I'm sure we'll be able to figure that one out. It'll be um, an uninitialized variable. All right. Yeah, okay. Because we're trying to use this edit goal, um, but we're not passing in a goal. Um, so what's happening is um, it's coming in. Um, while this kind of looks like HTML, what happens is obviously it's felt um, compiles it into JavaScript, and then it will start outputting um, this HTML, um, and then it will the browser will try to render it, um, and it will hit this goal goal dot verb. But because we are doing an add goal and we're trying to pass in nothing for the goal here, um, the goal variable, um, it's not going to find that dot verb. Um, so it's going to basically throw an error, um, like you see across here. <clears throat> um, if uh, we don't have, I don't have that fixed up. Oh. Oh yeah, I've not not used that on uh, on this installation yet, and that might that might be handy to have so we can see the data. Let's um let's get that sorted before we start fixing up that uninitialized variable. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So what we want is we want that to be true so that we can get runtime checks and see the variables and all that kind of stuff in the tool, in the Svelte um, extension that we've got in my Firefox. Um, I don't really want to muck about with the actual production variable there because at some point I will probably come back and want to start using the uh, you know the run dev npm run dev um, although I'm not using it at the moment um, it would be nice to be able to do an npm run dev which will end up using the serve and live reload um, so at the moment let's um, let's just quickly hack this in we'll um, what we'll do is we'll just uh, dev true. Presumably, I could just do this. Break, will it? The JavaScript. Uh, we'll probably find out in a minute. Let's do that. Let's see if that does the job. Um, yeah, that might be invalid, Jason. Let's see. Nineteen line. Okay, so we should still have the error. Um, but. We've got Svelte tools, yay! Okay, so. Let's go down. We should be able to actually get a little bit closer there. Let's go here. 
and then we want the edit goal and oh it's not even there okay so the goal variable should actually be there but because it's not initialized at all um svelte has basically tree shaken out it's like it's not not used it's not initialized we can't use it so it's gone um hence the reason why we have this error here okay fair enough okay well let's sort that out then Wrong one. Um, keep that. Uh, let's let's actually let's just commit that. I think so. We don't need to muck about with that again. So probably the easiest thing is actually just to set uh, an initial, initial value for everything. Now it should be an object um, and we're going to have verb. Uh, let's make it empty for starters. Then we want potentially a prefix. We also need value suffix. Yeah, okay. So the value will just start off at zero. You might have a suffix for the goal. Again, empty for the moment. Need an end date. Um, end date, end date, end date. We could guess we could just use date dot now. Well, let's do that for the moment. Um, that returns the past JavaScript land. So we need to divide by 1000 because I know the end date is actually the Unix timestamp in seconds. Um, And we're going to need oh yeah it should always come in yeah yeah i do and then the reason uh, again empty for that moment okay that might actually just get us to a point where we can see what's what so let's try that. It's not going to be pretty though. This is all very uh, ad hoc. Um, just a dump of data right at the moment, just to get things there. Designer, I am not. All right, cool. Here we go. So. That's interesting. We don't really want that, do we? So let's uh, let's go there. You've got the objects and stuff. That's good. And if we do wibble, yep, you see it all updating over here. Okay, well, we can work with that. At least it's uh, it's working with our errors. Let's do something with that. Okay, well, that date. Uh, let's make that, let's cheat. Um, this will not fly for the long term, but at least it's there. Oh, we'll need it required as well. Um, as is value, that should be required. 
uh, text, and that reason needs a little bit of formatting. Let's make it. Uh, I should probably style it up actually. I'll do that in a sec. Let's see if we can let's concentrate on the date first. Let's make it usable. Well, that's uh, compiling. Let's might need to. Um, we'll come to that in a second. Might need to uh, refactor that a bit. There we go. There we go. So we've got a date picker. Now this will probably do silly things. That's in what have we got here? I go back up. What's that stuck in the object? Oh, okay. That's not gonna be very good. So the date picker, so uh, an input of type date returns a string value instead of a Unix timestamp. I guess that figures it is just like a an override. Um, so we might need to refactor that out because that's not really going to work very well. Can't actually see what's going on. Let's um, let's stick in a bit of info about what's going on here. So we'll just put in. Something so that we can see what a goal looks like once. Um, hold on, is that? Yeah, okay. Now I've got a goal here. Okay, so we need import goals from the stores. So we've got a, a JavaScript file. We'll just got all our, our writable, readable stores in it. Um, it's not a lot in it at the moment, so but we'll come to that in the future. Um, but it has, um, I'll probably show you. Yeah, so in my store, I am creating a goals writable store, um, which just as usual, subscribe and set um, exposed. Um, and then we've got these functions for getting goals, uh, getting measurements, which will come to um, a little reset, which basically just puts everything back to an empty array. And then we've got this little dummy thing here um, for showing a goal uh, as, a, as a text string, as a title. Um, so I am expecting the date, so the going date, yeah. So that's unit. That's that should always be a UTC uh, times from the Unix epoch seconds type thing. Um, so in JavaScript land, uh, that means you need to multiply it by a thousand because it JavaScript land does milliseconds. Um, and then I'm just doing to local date string there. So okay. Uh, yeah, oh, it was a good job that I put in all the fields because this would have gone bang. <laughs> okay, right, let's see what that does. It's gonna, it's not gonna be happy once I start setting a date though, because it's gonna be taking a string. So I expect we'll get some duff output in a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here 
we go. Zero by blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Wibble 10 <laughs> times by, no, okay, that's fine. Okay, but if we try and set a date, let's say end of the month, yeah, invalid date. It's not going to like that. Yeah, it's nice to put invalid date though. All right, let's refactor that out because I could I could go off and look for like a proper uh, date picker library, but before I do that, let's refactor that out to something that we can reuse. Um. So we'll grab that. And we'll just create a new date input. Date component. Date input because we might potentially want the date display as well. Maybe we'll just do that. Can all be changed in the future. Okay. So now we need to use, so we're gonna let's see. So we're gonna need to export Date equal uh, date dot now by default. We're then going to bind. Oh, actually, let's. Hmm. Do we want a date object or do we want a date? Yeah, we're going to want. <laughs> Interesting. There's all kinds of ways that we could handle this. Let's do... Should we just use date seconds? Let's... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to massage the value either way. So we could either have just a date object or let's make the exported, let's make the exported value a Unix. And then that means the seconds works rather than being a date object or anything like that. In the future, we could always make it so that we check what, what's been used as the input. We could remove that date now. Um, and then if either a date object or the Unix date are set, then we could use whichever and set that for a value. But for the moment, all I care about is Unix dates, so let's just use that. Um, and then we're going to want to do... Um, What does this take in? Mm -hmm. 
right, so that's going to need... All right, so that's going to need a string value. So it's quite that. Well, actually, it's just make our lives easy. Uh, we'll do Unix state. Oh. What's the best way to pass that? What can we do there to initialize it to something usable by the input? Well, I guess let's um let's check what we've got available here. We have, well, we're going to have two string, but we first need to, that'll be based on, yes, yeah, so that's based on an object, which we don't have at the moment. So how do we get, let's get, Got a date now. That's going to give us All right time. <laughs> the constructors here. When calls functional returns a string up the account no yes maybe new date will as a day object and then we've got they now for that's basically what we're going to have coming in. Okay, let's. Well, first off. We know that we expect nope. <laughs> times. No, nope. hold on. Why we're expecting to cut have come in seconds. So that's that. So we'll use that as our default. And then we're going to use The Unix for the default value will use Unix date times one thousand. Might want to have an intermediate variable that we can muck about with. The, the seconds version. Two. There's no from. Can you do set? Set date there. Uh, 
hit of the month? That's rubbish. Okay. Why do these APIs always use different th things? Okay. So what's set time do? It says the date object is it? Oh, it's another millisecond since. Okay. That'll do us. Okay, we can massage that. And then I wonder what can the input take? Uh, Do, 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 do. Type date does that there we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be a long term thing. What browsers does it support? <laughs> nice fi. Get our Safari. Okay, well I'm not using that at the moment, so Tina, so I'm on Linux. We'll come back to that at some point. But, okay, so it takes basically any, would it take any kind of string? Min, max, step. Yeah, I don't think I need min, max and minimums yet. That might come in handy. Okay, let's see what we can do to get so do 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 get so take it. Let's see the twos. Hmm. I can't date string. Is that even going to work? Yeah, that might be messy. 
wonder if it would work there. I wonder if it passes it enough. Well, we can certainly see. Um, so we'd want... We're not going to be able to pause it yet. We'll do that. We will do. Set time, can't we? Let's do yes. Yeah, so if I have date done now. I buy a thousand. Mm. No, it's times a thousand. No, no, it's so it's I need a is there such a thing as No. I just want the absolute. Do I have to do math? That's not what I wanted. Hmm. It's better. <laughs> It's not negative. Yeah. I've run out of coffee. Okay, with that. So if I have, that's what I'm basically getting in. And then I can do Can I can I do that pass in any values on oh, string it's not what I want let's use I bet it's set time let's do set time do 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 do
All right, make a decision in. Let's do something. Let's do... I'm going around in circles because I'm thinking ahead to when I need to massage this and use it in different modes. So, but let's, um, what we could do is Then we could just simply do just to get it going. Let's do that. And then we can just do this as uh, I don't think this will work, <laughs> but we can try. And then I can just simply bind that. And I'll just yeah, we'll start off with that, see what that actually does with it actually sets the value because we've got nothing beforehand. And then we'll worry about passing it back to the goal. Set a required flag on it as well. Do do bind the value. Do 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 ID. Hmm. Actually, just in case I do, Just have to have the same ID. That way, if we label it up and everything, it should just work.
guys are quiet. Why back give a name? Yes. So ID on there. Keep forgetting about that. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed, am I? Be messy. Let's see what mess we have here. Didn't pass in a day anyway. God, end day. Day impact. It's past it. Let's just do, we should be able to do year, better just check what we've got available here. Can I do formatted? No. ISO. That's what I want. Why didn't I see that earlier? Okay. That should do it. With any, with any luck. We should now have 
a value with an ISO string. So the input should start with a Unix state multiplied by a thousand with that Unix state being now. Okay, well, we'll see. I should probably reduce this watch. It's only every five seconds, so that means I generally have like a 10 second wait. But I think it deploys way quicker than that. I've messed that up. Oh. Okay, I'm not binding it back to the uh, Unix date. No, oh. <laughs> that's what I was saying before. I need to massage it and then return it. <laughs> So, and I'm running out of time again. Let's see. Uh, what can I do? What we can do. It's interesting actually, because that's a different value coming in. It might be better just to bind. Probably should have actually just done all the massaging outside of the component. Then I can monitor it better. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Because it might be easier just to have a little a little way of converting to a date string all the time in a consistent manner at the JavaScript level and then passing that in as a string. Maybe with a little function on um, on the goal object itself. Hmm. I'll have to come back to that I think. Because I think what's happening is if I am um, So if I were to
I wanted to take that. If I was to instead set these things up, And then Yes, that's not gonna work. Could have I exported that value? Let's export it. No, nope. because I don't want the string, do I? Yeah, I definitely need to think about this. I don't want. I want to work in two different modes. And I need to finish like now. So I need to come out. I need to go back from that and go to my meeting. I'll have to think about that. Yep. All right. Well, that's uh, another. I made some progress there. At least I have. I have a working form, but I just need to sort out this date problem, and then I need to fix up the reason next, as well, because that's a bit janky there. I haven't done any styling on it. Um. So the next time that will be the focus. Get that date working so that we can convert from Unix timestamp to a JavaScript timestamp and display it, or maybe find a better component to use for the date picker, which actually can do the conversion automatically, which would probably be the sensible way of doing things rather than trying to reinvent the wheel. We'll see. Anyway, um, until next time, uh, take care.